get crazy. All right. Caitlyn Jenner is being blasted for lashing out at Joe Biden after Biden proclaimed Transgender Day of Visibility on Easter. Caitlyn wrote on Twitter, I am absolutely disgusted that Joe Biden has declared the most holy of holy days, a self-proclaimed devout Catholic as Transgender Day of Visibility. The only thing you should be de declaring on this day is he is risen. Can you believe how contradictory this is on Caitlyn's part? Please, please, please. I got to go first. Shut the hell up, Caitlyn Jenner, because you are trolling everyone at this point. Let me just tell you this. Transgender Day of Visibility has always been on March 31st for the 15 years. I think it's been around since 2009, I believe. It's been around for a very long time. And uh, it just and Easter is a holiday that jumps around. It just happened to land. But keep the same energy, Caitlyn Jenner, when Easter falls on 420. I think 420 was like, it's been on there. It's going to be on that. It just kills me that you just jump on this. And that's why I say Caitlyn Jenner is not, Caitlyn Jenner is not an ally of the trans community. Fake ally. And it's the white male privilege is showing. And this is this is this fake to get attention and it'd be on that Republican um, sweet spot, I guess. Al, what do you think about this and Caitlyn? Well, uh, you know, I'm the resident Christian here. And even though I'm not a fan of Caitlyn Jenner, and we know that Transgender Visibility Day has been on the same day. For me, for the president to bring it to light, uh, for the president to speak on it. And let me be very clear. I am. I have on this show for the past four years been very supportive of the transgender community. Claudia has been supportive of the transgender community on here. This did not feel good to me as a Christian. Uh, him highlighting it on Easter Day. I got to be honest. It 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 gave me tone deaf. It gave me weird. It gave me dark. Uh, um, and it gave me uncomfortable. Uh, and and. I probably need to come to terms with that. And because that has, because I need to come to terms with that, it has nothing to do with it being transgender. It just has to deal with anything put there on that day of Easter. I would have an issue with the president highlighting it. That's my personal opinion. And I feel like that this is, this is just an example of how disconnected the Biden administration can be sometimes, sometimes in so many ways they get it right, but in so many other ways in their in their quest to relate and connect with the transgender community, which I understand that's what the administration is trying, trying to do with this. I think you do alienate a lot of other people that are that are Christian, that are Catholic. And, and, and for me, that's how I felt about it. It had nothing to do with it being transgender. It was just us highlighting something as a day that we're celeb that we're supposed to be celebrated for the, ri the rising of Christ. Well, you know, Al, uh, every single day has like a day, like I think it's like National Hot Dog Day. Like it's all these other things that we have raised right. for and it just happened to fall. I hear what you're saying as a Christian, but I will say this, it it, it screams of uh, transgenders and gays are not allowed to exactly. be religious and celebrate and they don't, but they're not. Yeah, no, no, no. And like God I said, it's, it has nothing to do with it being transgender day. Mm -hmm. that like if it, if it was hot dog day if mm -hmm. the president said we're we're celebrating hot dog day anything outside of what i traditionally respect and 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 celebrate easter i would have felt uncomfortable with that's just my personal opinion okay uh, and you are uh, definitely entitled to that uh, Armand, what do you think uh you know i don't i don't agree with that at all uh i personally feel like he made two posts he made an easter post and in that in that same day he made a transgender visibility post and i think the outrage not for Al, but you know, the outrage for the public is the simple fact that it is transgender. And I think, you know, had this been, you know, National African American Day or a National Woman's Day, and he made that post, the outrage wouldn't be there from anybody. No one would care. But because it was tr transgender or someone under the LGBTQ community, that is when it becomes a problem. People want, I'm so tired of LGBTQ people having to live as second class citizens in this country to heterosexual people, to women, black people. I'm tired of that. And I'm glad that he did it because for so long, we always have to take the back seat 
to everyone else. Everyone else can be highlighted. We can have our, they can have their moment. We have to celebrate them and put them on a pedestal. But the moment that we get a moment of shine, now it's like, oh, the Christians are offended. This one is offended. So gay people can't be Christians. We can't celebrate Easter because I know the girls were up and down the hallways and the aisleways on church one Sunday. So let the trans people have their moment. We're not second class citizens in the LGBTQ community. And if that simply falls on our day, happy Easter and happy Trans Visibility Day. Period. This is a good comment. SM said, it's not the community's fault Easter switches up uh, every year. Can two things be true at the same time? I will say this. Now, it was the way it was tricked. The way it was put out there, again, bad. The Democratic Party. It's like he voted. Yeah, right. It's like, like he, it looked like decided today. I'm going to gonna make Easter. And, right, and it made it seem like, OK, day. you're why are you piling on another holiday? But then when I yeah. found out that it's always been on that date, yes. it should have been made more clearly. So people that don't just read the headlines like most people do wouldn't feel away. I get that feeling. Like it it was seem like it was, I'm gonna make Easter trend say. And right. you don't really want anything else to be on top of Easter. I get it. But let's be have the same energy for for hot dog day, hamburger day, <laughs> National <laughs> Conjoined Twins Day, you know, yeah. blue ribbon day. Like they have a lot of days. I used to be on the radio and every day we'd highlight this.